I'm Brian Norcross. I'm the hurricane specialist at Fox Weather. My father was a NASA engineer and we moved to Central Florida along the east coast of Central Florida, just south of Cape Canaveral. So from my father, I got kind of an engineering background, but I also was always very interested in broadcasting. Later in life, I had this opportunity, or decided to take this opportunity to go back to school and study meteorology, and that was the confluence of engineering, science, and broadcasting, and kind of took me in a different direction. So it was a lot of zigs and zags until I got to that point. The hurricane thing came to me in kind of a weird kind of way. At the time, this was in the 1980s, in South Florida, I was doing a program called Neighborhood Weather. Uh, as part of that, I researched a lot about the history of Miami and South Florida, and I realized, boy, there used to be a lot of hurricanes here that I didn't know about. I knew about the big ones, but there was a tremendous hurricane history, and I thought, wow, if that starts happening again, this is going to be a completely different place. And um, if I'm going to be doing the weather here, I probably should learn a lot more about hurricanes. We went around asking every single question we could think of. We talked to emergency managers and the school board people and people at universities and the Coast Guard and just every component of society that we could uh, think to talk to and ask questions, you know, it's sort of proposing what would we do if, you know, if one of these past hurricanes were to happen again, what would we do with the schools? What would we do with the bridges? What would we do with the boats, the cars, the people in condos? How would you evacuate? So uh, then this just unbelievable hurricane came along and all that work to learn and to also put the backup systems in the television system, all that came into play on one just uh, hellacious few days in August of 1992. When it looked like this was going to be a, a worst possible situation for people that were in their homes, I was racking my brain thinking, what can I suggest that's beyond what we've already talked about, beyond the basics of getting your house ready. And I said, friends, here's what I want you to do. I want you to get a mattress off the bed and get ready to get under that, and get your family under that and ride this thing out. The Arias family only survived by hiding in the bathtub under their mattresses. We're in the studio and the wind is starting outside. I thought maybe we should move. So we moved to our safe spot and I can't tell you how many hundreds of people probably over the years have told me that that was what convinced them to like get out of the bedroom or the kitchen and go into the hallway or go into a bathroom and get the mattress ready. It was like, oh my God, if, if there, this is serious. He wasn't making that up. <laughs> you know, there's a, a school of thought that if you talk about storms too early, you're kind of hyping them. So. I like to try and identify when to start talking about the threat and not over hype or over promise the certainty of what's going to happen. So that understanding of how to communicate that has evolved over the years. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.